Cylinder classification. The engine of Hyosung 250cc and 125cc composed of the two-cylinder, is classified into the front cylinder and rear cylinder as basis of the motorcycle ahead. Today I will be doing tutorial on how to do camshaft TIMMING in Hyosung Comet 250, Comet 125, GTR 250, GT 250 engine. Now, first thing first, do camshaft assembly in this case we have four camshafts, two for intake and two for exhaust. Make sure you have distinguished the X mark for exhaust camshaft with the N mark for the intake camshaft. Flywheel should be marked F for the front cylinder and R for rear cylinder. Leave it there. Align the index mark on the magneto rotor with the index mark on the magneto cover as turn the crankshaft counterclockwise. First let's time the front cylinder camshaft with pull up the camshaft drive chain. Align the F mark of magneto rotor into the punching mark of magneto cover to turn the crankshaft. Front cylinder, step 1. The in an X cam always has a dash. Mark also called notch mark on the end of the of spindle. That dash or notch is always 100% straight horizontal line with the edge of the engine cover step 2. For the exhaust camshaft sprocket has mark number 2. This number 2 must be always facing 100% accurately upwards that is straight vertical. Dot. Then the notch mark of exhaust camshaft should be toward the outside. On left side. Step 3. For the intake cam sprocket number 3 mark faces 90% upwards 10% tilted to the right. Whichever side you look at, the number 3 must be a little lean towards right. Instead of a straight line like for exhaust cam. Then the notch mark of intake camshaft should be toward the outside. On the right side. Step 4. And the last step count the 16 chain roller pin from the mark 3 arrow of intake sprocket to the mark 2 arrow of exhaust sprocket. Now let's go to the rear front cylinder cam shaft and do the TIMMING when adjusting the rear cylinder. Align the R mark of magneto rotor into turn counter clockwise the position of front cylinder. Align the R mark of magneto rotor into the punching mark of magneto cover to turn the crankshaft. Step 1. Make sure you have the in cam and X cam at the right place. The in and X cam always has a dash. Mark also called notch mark on the end of the of spindle the dash or notch is always 100% straight horizontal line with the edge of the engine cover. Remember that always. Step 2. At that time, the mark 2 arrow of exhaust camshaft sprocket should be in a vertical position to the plane of cylinder head when exhaust camshaft sprocket was geared into camchain. Straight vertical. Dot. Then the notch mark of exhaust camshaft should be toward the outside. On left side. Step 3. For the intake cam sprocket the mark 3 arrow of intake camshaft sprocket should be in a vertical position to the plane of cylinder head when the intake camshaft sprocket was geared into the cam chain. Then the notch mark of intake camshaft should be toward the outside facing the right side. Step 4. And the last step, count, the 16 chain roller pin from the mark 3 arrow of intake sprocket to the mark 2 arrow of exhaust sprocket. Just to caution the cam chain is installed to the all of 3 sprockets. Be sure to lie the crankshaft until the four holder and cam chain tension adjuster are installed completely. Now after successful timing the front and the rear cam shafts turn the crankshaft 10 times manually. At this time you will listen if there is any noise coming from the engine just a precaution test.